Hello guys and welcome back to another player review on the channel. Today we have got the legend that is Michael Owen, the absolute traitor. Can't believe this man left us to go to the other red shite in England, Man United. But he did and this is his prime icon moments card. This man won the Ballon d'Or and to be fair, I don't think this card does him justice for that. I mean... The amount of cards that are higher rated than this man who've never won a Ballon d'Or is crazy to me. It really is just crazy. But he looks pretty good now because he's had a five star weak foot upgrade from four star, which is brilliant. And he's still got the three star skill moves and the medium medium weight rate, which isn't very good. He's five foot eight, so he is pretty small and he is right footed. Uh, costing about 550k right now on the Xbox. His pace is absolutely insane at 94 93. His shooting category is unbelievable. 97 finishing. Wow, that is insane, isn't it? And 95 tap positioning. So I'm hoping this man is going to be in the right place at the right time every single time. He also has 87 shot power, 84 long shots, 90 volleys, and 89 penalties. Well, this man is pretty shit, though. It is his passing. 75 vision, 69 crossing, 69 free kicks, 79 short pass, 49 long pass, and 74 curve. But he does have finesse shot trait, so don't be worried about that curve too much, lads, because when he takes a shot, he's got 99, because that's what the finesse shot trait does. It boosts everyone up to 99 curve when they take a shot, so that is definitely good. Um, his dribbling looks okay. It looks really good, to be fair. Um, his agility and balance could be a bit higher. But I'm hoping with his body type, with him being pretty small, he's going to feel really nice on the ball. I've never actually used a Michael Owen card ever on FIFA, and I'm genuinely used ever. If you look at all my videos, I've never used one, so this is the first time I'm using Michael Owen. Uh, and I'm interested to see what he can provide on the pitch. He's also got 92 reactions, 88 ball control, 94 dribbling, which is insane, and 88 composure. Uh, he's got 85 heading accuracy and 85 jumping. I'm still not expecting him to score any headers because he is pretty small. Um, 81 stamina is a bit shit though on a prime icon moments, isn't it? 64 strength and 59 aggression. He ain't muscling anyone off. He's going to get flattened on his ass. But he's got finesse shot trait, as said before. He's got outside the foot shot trait, which is also brilliant to have for a striker. And there is his icon profile for you. Uh, yeah, look at that. Liverpool and then friggin' Man United. What a treat. What a treat. But I can believe one of the best... Um, English strikers to have ever lived. Uh, probably, I'd say, the only one that was better than him on his day would have been Alan Shearer. Maybe Wayne Rooney, but Michael Owen was fantastic. He was. Go and watch some highlights of him. He was fantastic. But anyway, I don't know what um, chemistry style I should put on him. Let's have a quick look. I'd probably say we need to boost up and the dribbling, agility and balance a bit more. Maybe a maestro. Does his passing and shooting. I haven't got an engine chem style. Uh, I'd probably say engine's probably going to be the best. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to shove a maestro on him for now. Because that's all I've got on my club. But I'd probably say engine's probably best to get the best out of his agility and balance there. Um, but yeah, can't wait to get on into this player review and see what he can provide on the pitch because as I said, I've never used my glowing on FIFA so I'm quite intrigued to see what he can do. But first off, a quick word from our sponsor. If you're looking to buy cheap and reliable FIFA coins, then check out u7buy.com and use the code JOSH97 to get 5% off at checkout. Link is in the description below. Okay, here we go into match number one and that team is bloody dreadful so fingers crossed we can get some goals. Or, this could be really bad for me because usually the crap teams are absolutely amazing FIFA players, is what I've found out. We find him. First attack of the game, and it wasn't a bad attempt to be fair. Good save by the keeper. Oh, nice run. Nice run. Michael Owen cuts in. Can we find the space for him? Yes, we can. Oh, he smacks the post. And then Fee goes offside. Very unlucky there. Very unlucky. It does feel lightning fast, I've got to admit. 
Uh, but one thing I have noticed, lads, is the medium medium work rate does pull him out of position. Uh, he's always a bit further back than where you want him to be. And that's what I've noticed so far. And he's got an injury. What the hell? Into Owen. Oh, he wins the header. But it was straight at the keeper. Free header as well. I expected him to do a bit better than that, if I'm honest. Lovely run from him. Here we go. What a rocket. That was an insane goal, wasn't it? I really wanted to watch that again, but he did skip it. But that was very, very nice. Quick, like, on the half turn, smack a Rooney with his weak foot. Obviously, it's five star now. Straight into that top bin. What a goal. There we go. That is what we like. The positioning, fantastic. Finds the space, peels off the defender. Shame we couldn't get the goal on that attack. But that is what he's going to be good at. His positioning is 50-50, if I'm honest with you. Uh, but when he's on that last man, he does seem to make a run away from the defender, if that makes sense. Oh, he's found space. Oh, beautiful, beautiful finish. That's what I'm talking about, Owen. That's what I expect. He has been really good in this first game. He's had plenty of opportunities to score. And he's managed to get his second of the game there. Fantastic. Look again. Peels off the defender. Finds the space. But he should be putting more of these in the back of the net. from Gerard and Owen and then that for a finesse what a goal just showing his ability there fan bloody tastic hat trick in the first game that last goal was unreal and a rage quit I will 100% take that Owen I've never used him before on FIFA and in this game he's blown me away fantastic fantastic he plays very very much like Butcher Granio oh, okay obviously not as good as Butcher Granio but he's not far off lads here we go into match number two, and this is more like it. This is a really tough opponent. His team is insane. It's going to be a real hard game, this. Real hard game. Oh, it was lovely play. He should have done better, though. Really should have. Does get pushed off the ball very easily. Very easily. He is very weak. Oh, lovely play. Come on! Yes! Yes, again. Stevie G, Michael Owen link up. Beautiful. Just like they did back in the day. Fantastic play and a fantastic goal. It's been a tough one, this real tough game. The opponent's got a real nice team and we've just about got us ourselves in front here with a lovely link up by Michael Owen and Stevie G. We're on the attack here. No, we're not because Sergio is there. Oh, Michael Owen. Oh, no. Oh, come on, Michael. Get in, sunshine. It's gone into extra time. We were 3-2 down just. But Michael Owen absolutely turns around inside out. And then a lovely across goal, low driven, um, left-footed effort. By God, that's great. Honestly, I'm really enjoying this card. Oh, unlucky Owen. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so it's 4-4. Extra time, going into penalties, and I have just lost connection with your opponent. And if that doesn't tell you, EA need to sort the shitty system out and give people the win, because I've just wasted like 25, 30 minutes of my time there nearly. And I haven't even got a win for it. That is shocking. But anyway, Michael Owen, two goals, two assists in this game. Again, 
it was a really tough match, but he pulled it out of the bag twice for us, and he got two assists as well, which was really good. Really enjoyed this card. He does have his downsides, though, but he does have a lot of pros as well. 550k for a prime icon moments like this, I don't think he's too bad. But anyway, let's get in to my player summary of prime icon moments, Owen. So my player summary of prime icon moments, Owen, I really, really did enjoy this card. Two games, five goals, two assists is a crazy record, isn't it? And the big thing about this is the five-star weak foot upgrade. The two goals I think he scored on his weak foot were absolute insane. They were rockets, they were perfect. Absolutely unreal. Obviously, three-star skill moves is okay, but we do want four-star or above, really, don't we? To have a bit of fun, more fun with the card. His medium medium work rate, so he does, from time to time, he is out of position, lads. He's dropped further back than you would expect your striker to be, and that means you've got to try and work him into the box a bit more. But sometimes, when he is on that last man, when he's hovering on that last man, the 95 attack positioning comes into play because they just peel off, ready to get the ball. And if you've got someone who can play a good pass like Stevie G, Stevie G in this was absolutely unreal. Playing balls across to Owen, getting the assists, that is what worked really well for me. His finishing is unbelievable, as you've seen. The goals he scored, absolutely fantastic. Inside the box, outside the box, finesse shots. He's got the outside the foot shot tree. His finishing is, by God, unbelievable. His passing, however, is absolutely shite. It really is crap. Um, so that is a downside on the card. Obviously, you don't need the greatest passing in the world for a striker, but it would be nice to have 80-plus there and even, like, 60, 70-plus in his long passing, wouldn't it? Um, that would have been nice. And his dribbling, he felt really good on the ball, lads. Really, really good. And that's due to his body type, I think. And obviously his high dribbling stats as well. Um, he's only 5'8", so he has got that low cent centre of gravity. And he can feel that in the game as well. He is really good on the ball. His heading, he won the header. It was a free header. It was a really good header. But he went straight to the keeper when it should have gone in the back of the net. In my opinion. Um, <laughs> so that was very unlucky. His stamina is a big con on the card. 81 is still a bit shit, lads, at this t stage of the game. He is pretty knackered. And into extra time, uh, he was just goosed. He was really goosed. So you would have to take him off, really. I kept him on, obviously, because I'm doing a review on him. But if I wasn't, he would have gone straight off. Uh, his strength and aggression were crap. And he is very weak, lads. Very weak. He does get pushed off the wall very easily. So that is definitely something to consider when buying this card. But all in all, I really enjoyed it. It was a fantastic card. 550k, I think, is definitely worth it. He just plays so good in game. When you think about how much Butcher Gwenio is. And okay, Butcher Gwenio is obviously the better player. But his prime moments, he has similar stats to this man. I think this is a cheap Butcher in my opinion, and he plays really well in game, really enjoyed him, and for that reason, I'm going to give him an 8.5 out of 10, he has got room to improve, as I said, the medium media work rate is one, the stamina is another, the passing is another, and the skill move is another, but when you're getting two games, five goals, two assists, that is something you want in your team, isn't it, it's something you want to go and buy, someone who's going to impact your side, and Owen definitely will, 100% will. He was pretty damn good. So, if you haven't enjoyed today's play of you, you know what to do. Smash the thumbs up button for me. It is greatly appreciated. And if you are new around here, please do subscribe to the channel for more play reviews and FIFA-related content. And I will catch you all in the next one.